Meanwhile, a 17 year old is in Johnson County behind bars tonight after allegedly bringing a gun to school. Police in Trafalgar arrested the student at Indian Creek High School Tuesday. RTV6 reporter Drew Smith joins us live in the studio with details. Drew. Well, Todd, the student is facing a felony charge of possession of a handgun without a permit on school property. The alleged incident happened Monday afternoon, and two other students reportedly alerted school administrators. Police say the incident happened here, in the parking lot, inside the suspect's car. He allegedly showed the handgun to two other students. One of those students then reported it to school administrators, who started to investigate. And then they turned it over to Trafalgar Police on Tuesday. After getting a search warrant, police say they found the weapon at the suspect's home with one round in the chamber. The handgun is described as a Sterling 22 caliber semi automatic. Thomas Paul is the father of a senior at the high school. Down here at Indian Creek, we're, I mean, we're a small system, but it just goes to show you that everywhere, you know, it can be any, it can happen any place. The suspect is being held here at the Johnson County Juvenile Detention Center while prosecutors decide on whether to charge him as an adult. The community learned of the incident through a phone message sent by the school district superintendent on Wednesday. In the message, Dr. Matthew Prosecki said, quote, working with local authorities, an immediate investigation was conducted. A prompt resolution was reached with the assistance of the Trafalgar Police Department. Furthermore, this student is not allowed to attend school while we work through the due process of holding this student accountable for his actions. Prusecki said this notification system is effective. We've done that in the past for a lot of other things, and uh, I think the protocol is, is what the community is used to. Uh, the goal is to make sure that um, every, all, the, all the parents are aware of it. However, some parents who received the call believe it came far too late. You know, I think I'd like to know a little more advanced, I mean, at the moment that it happens, I think it should be almost an emergency type call instead of get something late that afternoon. Police also have charged the 17 year old with possession of marijuana and drug paraphernalia that they allegedly found after searching the suspect's home. The student is suspended and facing expulsion. Thank you, Drew.